Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Ainsworth, and we are going to cover how to grade on the iPad here using the Canvas app, the Teacher Canvas app. Uh, so what I did was, oh, let me just start over here. You know, once you're in Canvas here, you got your all your classes in through here, and you just bring one up, hit modules, pick an assignment that you want to grade. Like I'm going to demonstrate how to grade constructions in this class called MRWC, and. Uh, it tells you here that people, uh, tells you how many people that have submitted versus not submitted and ones I've, I've already graded 17, I need to grade a few more, so let's pick one to grade and show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to bring up some student work here that was scanned using Adobe Scan and submitted into Canvas and this is all the written work here on paper and pencil. And you just go for it. You just click on this button right here and you and you you annotate, okay, with a digital pen. And so I'm, I'm looking for three, three fifths, that's correct placement. Negative two thirds is correct. Happy face means good for me. And oops, didn't mean to do that, okay. And then the placement here, oh, come on, uh, sorry. And then you have to hit the pen icon when you transition here. So my happy face means good. You can write all over it. You can say, good job. You can give uh, the kids some nice feedback here, whether it's good or bad, doesn't matter if they need feedback. And uh, this one here, so like this one here, they're supposed to go plot uh, negative five thirds, but they graph negative three fifths. So uh, that right there has not been graphed. They got that backwards, obviously. So this is good, but you know, where is this? Okay, so you give them some feedback and then continue on this and what they can do is continue and then resubmit. And then you give them a higher grade the next time they submit. So you don't give them full score here because it's not finished properly here. This one is. So out of 20 points, that is A quality work. So uh, so 18 out of 20, very good overall, but they need to finish it and resubmit. So what you do is you give them a little note. And let me see, it was on part E, finish your work on part E. So I got to be specific. And then you give them a, a good grade. Okay. And then you tell them, then you, you select done here and then it gets sent back to them and then they finish it, resubmit it, then you regrade it. And it sounds like a lot, but I think the most, one of the most important things for a student is to uh, get feedback. And we don't do enough of that as teachers, and we need to. That's like really critical in the learning process. All right, and so, and then you just go from student to student. And notice that the techniques on these constructions vary. Uh, and notice that this is my own handwriting. I checked this person in class already, so I can just grade this because it's already been graded in class because it has my signature. Okay, so I already know she did an awesome job. And then you give her a comment, okay, boom, right there. Send it back to her. And then uh, they have a chance to see your annotations in Canvas. And uh, so I teach all my students how to view my annotations and my feedback. And so they can learn from it, okay. And this one here for Jeffrey, I already graded his work in class too. I don't have a signature on here, but I remember working with him and checking it myself. So I already know this is perfect. And so, and very well done, uh, by the way. So I already told him that in class. And so you, you just want to hit it back home. You want to give him some good comments that we don't do that enough either. Feedback and also nice compliments. And so do that. When you select done, it gets sent back to the student and they get to see uh, their, how their hard work in class pays off. All right, and grading in, in on the Canvas app is way more efficient because I don't have to record this on a spreadsheet. I don't have to re-enter it in Infinite Campus. All the steps that we used to do by hand, I don't have to do because this automatically gets scored in Canvas uh, once I place the grade and I submit it. And then it gets not the student gets notified and then it gets automatically synced to Infinite Campus too once you set that up, which every teacher has to do. So, um, I found that this is a way more efficient system. I don't take home papers anymore. Uh, I grade everything here. And not only that, I have a great 
uh, student sample base to show in class. I, I pull up student work in class that has been submitted online all the time and I talk about what's good, what's bad, what I expect, my expectations. Uh, and then, you know, and they can learn from it. It's really, really great tool. And we as teachers need to get better at how to, how to utilize this tool called Canvas to help the students uh, learn more efficiently, okay? And learn from their mistakes. And they will make mistakes and you need to tell them. And then they need to have a chance to resubmit it. I tell my students all the time, they can resubmit as many times as they want. And if they don't get it right the first time, they fix it, resubmit, get the highest grade possible later on. And that's what is important in the learning process uh, is that they have the chance to do that. Learn from their mistakes, fix them, and resubmit for the higher grade. It's, it's not like a one-time only type of thing. Okay, so at least that's my opinion. All right, this is Jeff Ainsworth here at Great Oak High School. Uh, just a little tutorial on how I use Canvas, all right, the Teacher Canvas app on my iPad Pro.